My name is Mallory McEwen, and if chosen as the Girls 20 2015 delegate from the United States of America, I will use my voice to not only reach for my hopes and dreams, but to also serve as the voice of the American women and my sisters all over the world who are unable to do the same. So in 2010, American women were reported to earn only 77 cents to every dollar that a man earned. Five years later, in 2015, these trends have not changed. The gender pay gap in America is easy to not take seriously when presented in class in a scholarly article, but it becomes much more personal when you witness your own mother making far less than your less educated father and simultaneously taking on the majority of gender-defined household chores. But the pay gap in America is only one of our concerns. When it comes to women's health care, we don't have much say in that either, because only 18% of the seats in Congress are filled by women. And in result of that, it's the men that are passing bills about what we as women can and cannot do with our own bodies. And as a woman, that's terrifying. These are not just problems of America. In the one year that I lived in Indonesia, I witnessed countless girls being left home to do the cooking and cleaning while the boys got to go to school. I witnessed the hidden street corners filled with domestic violence both at home and abroad. I've seen women fight for agricultural land rights while their male counterparts are granted land with their every request. No matter where I have found myself, in Indonesia, Australia, Western Europe, or my cozy home of Bozeman, Montana, there is a theme among us women. We want to fight. We are ready for equality in the workplace, in schools, and in the opportunities that we are given. But we don't know where to start, and more often than not, we're not taken seriously. Chosen as a delegate for the Girls 20 Summit, this will be my start. This is where I will use my voice to speak out for equality for myself for the women of my country and for all the girls that I've met along the way. The time is now.